Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Undisciplined Mind podcast for Tuesday, December 8th, 2015. So it's wet, it's cold, it's a little bit foggy. Fog, 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 that's been our thing. Apparently the ground got cold enough that you give it a little bit of 40s or high 30s and boom, fog. It was, I mean, it was pretty much foggy all freaking day yesterday. All day. Uh, I didn't go out of lunch, but when I looked outside at one point, I just said, wow, it's, it's still fog. It's, it's just fog. There's nothing else. So today I thought I'd talk about another one of my new podcasts that I am binge listening to. Uh, and that is another history podcast. I went looking for. I went looking for another history podcast because I enjoyed. You must remember this so much. And a little googling brought up this this podcast. It's called. find the right name. I want to get it right. Dan Carlin's Hardcore History. And I downloaded I downloaded um, everything they had available. At some point they cut off their older stuff and they make it available you know for purchase. Because this is obviously, this is a professional podcasting organization. Uh, you know, they are doing this for their jobs, it seems like. So, but it's, it's very well done. So, the hardcore history. Um, his, his, as he's described it, you know, he, he, he talks about those periods of history that you, you're you glad you didn't have to live through. And the first series that I've listened to in this podcast was called Wrath of the Khans, which was a five-part five uh, series that was all about um, the rise of Genghis Khan... Which we would call, I think, I think the, the, the normal, the least Americanized pronunciation is, is Genghis, but uh, he pronounced it Genghis, which I'm assuming is more eth- ethnically correct. I don't remember him actually saying that, but it goes through Genghis, and then it uh, gets into it. Basically, follows the the rise and then the fall of the Mongol Empire, which is through Genghis's time, obviously, and then through a couple generations of his descendants after he passed. And it was a really interesting series because it wasn't wasn't a area of history that I know a lot about. And I forgot what the rest of that sentence was going to be. So it was an interesting time period to learn about. The hardcore part comes in because of the incredible br- brutality of the cons. He, uh, yeah, and it's, he's not, he's not, um, what's the word I am looking for? I, the words are failing me this morning. Dang. Uh, well, he's not being voyeuristic in, in depicting the violence of the Mongol people. 
but he does, you know, share what they did so you can understand what was going on. And they were, they were brutal, brutal. I mean, it was very common that they would, you know, sack a city and they would kill everybody. I mean, everybody. Man, woman, child, old, young, they didn't care. If you had a pulse, you were dead. And then after the main army had left, if, if you've been lucky enough to like be hidden in a basement or a storeroom someplace and, and to have survived this murdering of your entire city while you were maybe, I don't know, trying to rebuild your life, trying to bury your dead, whatever, the Mongols would send a, a patrol back to finish the job. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was a pretty brutal time in, in history. Uh, the, the episode, oh, yeah, let's panic break. Why the hell not? And get off of my ass. Wow, driving is challenging today. So he, he specializes in, I don't know if he specializes, but he seems to have an interest in, in you know, like I said, areas of history that you don't want to be in. They are long episodes. Uh, most of the con episodes were, you know, over an hour long probably like in the 90 minute area each. Uh, the episode I'm listening to now, which I don't, it's, it's from a, um, it's from a time that's after the Reformation in the 1500s where we don't know exactly what's happened yet, um, but it's, you know, talking about, you know, Martin Luther and, there's going to be somebody that's going to do something that's going to anger, anger the Catholic Church, it sounds like. And there's going to be this most horrific of executions. This episode is well over 200 minutes long. And I'm working my way through it. But it is, it is a really good history podcast. And he's, he's, you know, he's, he's hitting a number of areas that I've never heard of before, so I feel like I'm kind of expanding my knowledge in these areas. Um, very well produced. I mean, it's just him sitting there talking. They aren't, like, reenacting things. But he, he does a good job of, of, of not so much telling the story, but, you know, giving us an interesting recounting of the facts of what happened as, as best as we have recorded. I mean, like, for the Mongols, there were lots of things that were, uh, you know, they weren't really big on, on writing histories. They had, they had some, and, you know, the Chinese that they fought had others, and, you know, he shared details from, from all these sources, but, but they weren't, you know, big journal writers or anything there in, in, in the Mongols. So uh, there are some things that are just you know, rumors and innuendo, and, you know, he shares that, but he also says, you know, this is unclear, this is, you know, or maybe there's two or three different thoughts about this, but, but here's what's, what's going on. So, yeah, Hardcore History uh, by Dan Carlin. Um, pretty, pretty interesting podcast. I am enjoying it quite a bit. I will put the links in the short notes, as I usually do when I do a podcast review. And uh, if it's something you are interested in, please check it out. It is not for the squeamish uh, thus far, I will say. You know, so if you, um, and like I say, he doesn't try to be gratuitous. There's that word that I was looking for before. He, he, he's not gratuitous. I mean, there were several times where, where, where in the Mongol thing where he's like, well, you know, they, they did this and they killed all the city, killed everybody in the city, but I'm not going to give you the full description of it because it gets... You know, it gets to be too much because they did it time after time after time after time. So he's not trying to be gratuitous, but he's just trying to give you a sense of what 
the people that had to face the mongrels, uh, what they suffered. And there was a lot of suffering in that series. I think there was going to be suffering in this episode that I'm listening to now, eventually. It sounds like it. But uh, well, apparently we're going to get to that close to the end, obviously. So Anyway, I think that'll be it for today. I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you. <laughs>